Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Harvey in here with us this afternoon. Harvey is a healthcare worker here in the Houston metropolitan area. And Harvey has been suffering from what we call cervical thoracic radiculopathy. I just looked at his MRI. He's got disc bulges down at C6, C7. That's impinging on the brachial plexus that comes out into his arm and hand. He's been getting arm and hand pain and getting numbness and tingling, especially down in these first fingers right here right yes more so but you've had it in all of them yes even. and he's and he's barely able to go in extension at all let's show him how your flexion extension looks close your eyes go forward see it stops right there it starts pulling doesn't it yes now backwards and see it starts kinking already right there it restricts his extension so he's got severely limited extension because of that herniated disc at c6 and c7 He's also translated forward and to the right on the x-axis and z-axis. Now his pelvis is translated left on the x-axis. He's got a lot more room here on the right side than he does the left side. So I've already done his orthopedic neurological test. His reflexes and muscle strength, 5x5 five five and plus 2 equal and active on those. So upper and lower, let's go ahead and lay you on your tummy again. Now, real interesting test again, just to show you the significance of the sacrum and the pelvis. I'm going to push here. I want you to lock your right leg and lift your right leg off the table. Okay, relax that one now. Do the same thing on the left. Yep, and see how the right one didn't come up as high? Does the right one feel more difficult to you? Yes. Yep, see that's a right sacral deviation test, which tells me he's got a right SI joint problem there as well in sacral subluxation. So I'm going to start off adjusting him on the biophysics table here first so I can get a feel for his ligamentous play in his spine. I'm adjusting the right part of the sacrum right now. Now I'm actually going to count on the right SI joint. And then the center of the sacrum, the left aspect of the sacrum, and then the left SI joint. Now I'm going to go back to the right SI joint and the right sacrum. And now I'm going to adjust L5 straight P to A, L4 straight P to A, L3, L2. Now these are all probably a little sore, aren't they, yeah. Harvey? Okay, I'm going to put you on the knee chest table today. Get that lower one. Okay, now remember how your leg was short by about a half an inch? Yeah. It's exactly even now. And I bet you this already feels smoother than the first one did. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. So just breathe and relax for me. I'm going to move up here. There you uh, go. Yep. Uh, okay, just relax and breathe. Go ahead and let your arms drop all the way down. There you go. That's it. There you go. Uh, I catch you between bugs. Yeah. All right. Okay, now I'm going to get right down on that C5, C6 vertebra that's backwards. It's posterior, it's retrolisthes, pushing it back forward, and then adjusting T1 to get your head up over your shoulders. Just turn you on your back now, please, sir. Now, the thing that's going to help him the most is the spinal decompression. I did a maximum foramen compression test on him that was positive bilaterally. And then I did lift it straight up on his occiput, and that alleviated some of his compressive stress in his lower cervical spine. So that shows that he has a positive distraction test. Too. Just put your arms straight out, palms facing up for me now, Harvey. Like that. There we go. Good. We'll give a shout out to one of our mutual friends. Gary Ellison right now. Hey, Gary. He's in here, Gary. He's getting ready to get the ring dinger. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I want you to relax your hands on your tummy. There we go. Good. There we go. Super. Okay, let's sit you up and face towards your knee. You should have felt that in your knee all the way up to your back. Yeah. Good. Face that way for me, please, sir. Okay, I'm just going to check your shoulders. Keep your chin up. There you go. See, one of the 
problems that a lot of people get in the habit of, they let their heads drop down a lot. And that's usually from like working on a computer or tablet or iPhone all the time, or looking down at records or doing what you do in your hospital work when you're looking down doing patient stuff. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, you noisy all over. Crack eggs uh, gonna love you. <laughs> <laughs> Some people get offended when I don't say that. So. <laughs> We've redefined the word crack in. We have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's come over here and lay on this table. Now, I want your pelvis right here. Head up that way on your back, please, sir. If Justin ever finished what he started, that'd be good. <laughs> there. I forgot where is Justin from? Ohio. Ohio. Okay, I was going to say, well, maybe he's got having to deal with Irma. No, he's not dealing with anything except Justin. <laughs> <laughs> he going to be dealing with Mickey pretty soon if he don't get that stuff done. Okay. Now, I want you to just keep your teeth closed for me, Harvey, and breathe through your nose. And now exhale. There you go. Mm. Now you should have felt that go all the, all way, the way down. down. <laughs> yep. That's why we call it ring dinger. See, you're still <laughs> kicking too. You're good. All right. Lay your head in my hands because this is going to be a really important adjustment for you. There you go. Uh, Same over here. There we uh, go. See, I was on the lamina of C6 and adjusted that P to A. With a little bit of rotation in it, not much. That was mostly P to A thrust. Got one more adjustment I want to do on you. Okay. So let's come over here on this table now. You always want to try to get up sideways if you can. I'm going to have you get on your knees on this table. Let me get this face paper out. And I'm going to have you put your face right up in here. Okay. Now I want you just to let your hands relax down there. I want you to let this part of your spine just sink. Just let gravity kind of bring it in and relax it. There it is, right there. Well, that moved earth, didn't oh, yeah. it? Okay, let's stand you up now. That's going to help you stand up straight. <laughs> okay. Now, let's take a look in the mirror again. Oh, yeah. You're sorry standing up straight anymore. Let's have you close your eyes again and bend your head forward and backwards for me, Harvey. Better flexion already. Oh, yeah. And also better extension. But it still kinks up going backwards, I see. Yeah. Look in the mirror. See how your head's still a little forward and to the right, right? And your pelvis still a little bit left. It's better than it was, but it's still a little left. So here's your homework. You're going to lift your shoulders straight up. You're going to pull them back simultaneously. Flare these hands way back here like this. Now you're going to bring your head straight back on the z-axis like this, so you're not extending it. And then you're translated right, see? So we want to translate left in the mirror. You'll always look in the mirror when you're doing these. And now look backwards. You're going to feel a little tap right here on your atlas. There, now relax. Hang on, I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to bounce your muscle spindles and change the golden tendon apparatus with your change the tonicity of your muscles in your traps and levator scapula muscles here and it should feel after I get done a lot smoother to move your neck both forward in flexion and backward in extension so go ahead and close your eyes and do that forward flexion and extension again I bet you that felt smoother it does and that's smoother as well yeah. and a lot increased. Now take a look in the mirror now. You're right down in the center. Oh yeah. Look there. That's amazing. Imagine that. That's amazing. So do you feel better than when you walked in the door, Harvey? I do. So a lot of people want to know what people's very first experience is getting the ring dinger. What would you tell our YouTube fans your, your expression of how it felt to you the very first time? It was, it was surprising, but then it was like instant relief. 
There you go, instant relief. That's what we like, instant yeah. relief. And and if you do this a couple of times within the next couple of weeks, we can start stabilizing you okay. and taking the pressure off of that bulge and herniated disc, and that'll take the pressure off your brachial plexus, and then your problems will just ease up and your body will start functioning normally again. And that's what I want. Yeah, without surgery. Yes, without yeah. surgery. <laughs> yeah. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. And Harvey coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. And thank God the other Harvey's gone. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> All right. We'll see y'all next time.